Hey guys, welcome back. Thank you again for tuning in today. Hey, we wanted to take this hose and show you some amazing things about it. Again, you can kind of push this down. It's going to pop back into place. So if it gets caught in a door, it's not going to hurt it. It's not going to crimp it because again, no wire in it. When for storing, you can kind of roll it up and then go like this. And it's real easy to put away somewhere. All right. And then this is also kind of cool about the Kirby. I told you it swivels on both ends. We call this the swivel test. So if your hose gets all knotted up, hold it on the ends where it swivels, and there you go. And it's not going to break, as you can see. We'll put this back on the front. Again, rock it and lock it. Automatically gets that switch. This is kind of nice. This is the dusting tool. You can use this for pictures mirrors, you know, end tables, ashtrays, candy dishes, got a soft rubber core, got some nice bristle brush, the bristles revolve around, so like normally after a couple of years, your, your brush is going to look like this, but not on the Kirby, because you give it a little twist every time you use it, it's going to wear uniformly, and it even can come out, which is kind of cool, you can replace the bristles on your brush, rather than replacing the whole brush, but the nice thing about that, soft rubber not going to nick or mar your furniture and when you use this it does a great job you could use it straight like this or you can use it on the end of your wands if you need more reach we've got a crevice tool great for cracks and crevices goes like this uh, old school radiators they still make uh, not so much the cast iron radiators unless you live on a farm but baseboard radiators get all the dust and dirt out of there Keep them looking good. That's got a bristle brush, which does pop out, and it's got little copper brads on it. Put that back in, and it's a little bit flexible, as you can see, because sometimes cracks and crevices aren't straight. Pop that off. Call this the IT tool, because it is amazing. Years gone by, uh, when the Kirby system was invented, Head lice was a problem back in the day, not so much anymore, but this was literally for a scalp massage. Helps to stimulate new growth. Hard to imagine, I was bald last week, I just vacuumed a whole bunch of times with this, and bam, whole new head of hair, but it's got what we call the magic fingers. Also, you could use this, you could turn this inside out, follow this bead. You could use this to blow out a, a clogged up drain. Pop that bead around the other way. You'd have to take your hose, put it on the blower end. Using air. Hose on the blower end. Air intake guard on the front. Whoop. Let me lock my air intake guard on the front. There you go. Let me take this wand off. Again, we ran that bead inside out. Put that over a clogged up sink or drain. You don't have to use any liquid Drano or anything that might harm your pipe. But use the air to blow out a clogged up sink or drain. Now, hint, if you have a double sink, make sure you close up one side. Otherwise, you could blow the water and, the, and the, uh, the plug right up over the other side. So, close up the other side, hit that on. But for bathroom sinks, ideal, you know what I mean, where kids lose a lot of air. And that is very handy. For that, we used to call that the plumber's helper. Bring that back around. Kind of a cool tool. So what else do we have in this bag of goodies? Let me show you. Wall and ceiling brush. Real nice thing. Okay, this is about six inches wide. Open all the way so you get maximum suction power. Bristle brushes, which pop out for easy and inexpensive replacement. Snap them back in. You can use this along with your wand and your elbow. So when I put this on, most vacuum cleaners, most canisters, this is pointing down. The idea to that is with your extension wands, you're working down here to your floor. With the Kirby, we call it the floating elbow. Look at how nice this is, guys. We put this here, and now this will allow us to go up above and make it real easy to go over the top of doorways, ledges, archways, and picture frames. For example, oh my goodness, Brandon, we didn't even need suction power to find all that dust. Kind of cool, right? 
but that's going to allow us to go over the top again. Doorways, ledges, archways, picture frames. We can turn this this way and go along wall boards, getting the corners right over there where that spider hangs out and those cobwebs are always over above your wood stove. Look at the reach. Isn't that incredible? And now I'm getting right in and along the baseboards and the wall boards and up top and along here. And ideal for catching that heating unit. And I want you to feel the weight of this, Mary. Here you go. Oh, it's nice and light. That's right. Lightweight and easy to use. You don't want something thick and bulky. This is, again, not metal. This is that Nylatex material. And with that said, we'll see you tomorrow. Thanks again for tuning in.